Okay, now we get to the actual firing bit. Now, the first thing we want to do with our bullet is we want it to go to, whenever we press the spacebar to fire our, our bullet, we want it to be put into the gun and to fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, um, when space key pressed, um, we want our bullet to hide, then to go to our man. We also want it to point in the direction of, and we're sensing now, here we go, direction of man, so that it's facing in the same direction. Now it will shoot out the top of his head and out of the bottom of his legs because he only points left and right. So if I'm pressing the up and down arrow keys, it will shoot up and down like that and look a bit odd. But this is the simplest way we've got to do it at the moment. There we go. So, we then want the bullet to show. So it'll appear. Right then. Um, repeat until. There we are. Because when we press the space key, until this bullet hits the victim or hits the edge, we want it to keep moving. So, it's an OR, so I need my operators and I want to drop that in there. Repeat until you are touching the victim. Don't forget I'm writing this in the bullet um, panel. If you can't see the word bullet, if you can't see victim in there, you're probably writing it in the victim panel. Or I'm touching the edge. I want it to move 10 steps. And remember, the larger the number, the quicker your bullet will travel. Start with that for the moment. And on the bottom, I want it to hide. There we go. So let's try it. Now I've obviously pressed up arrow last, so it's shooting on the top of his head. That way. There we go. So I'm shooting, and it's touching the edge, or it's touching the victim and it's disappearing, so that's exactly what I want it to do. The next step is to get our victim to disappear when the bullet hits him. So, go to victim, and when the green flag is clicked, forever. Sensing... Where's my if now? Forever, I'm um, putting if in. If touching bullet, hide. And what I'll have to do over here is put a show in at the start, because if you've killed him once, he won't come back at the start of the game unless you put a show in there. So let's try that. See if I can actually hit him this time. Make sure I'm facing the right way. There we go. Try it again, click the green flag, back he comes. He appears to be invincible this time, I don't know why. There we go, straight through. So, um, that's the way to get one of your characters to shoot another one of your characters.